Well, I ordered a, a piece of Lexon polycarbonate. You want to actually use uh, Lexon polycarbonate uh, for windows versus acrylic because it's, it's hundreds of times stronger. It's actually hundreds of times stronger than glass. The real problem is bending it. Uh, so I ordered a 2 by 48 inch. So 48 inches puts it up to this mark. It actually have to make a separate piece here. I'm not sure how well that's going to bend or how easy it's going to be to cut. Never really worked with this stuff, but um, you know, if I make this, it's not, it's not gonna, you won't be able to break it, or, well, you could, but it'd be very difficult. It won't shatter like this anyway for one thing. The other thing is I can actually make some side windows on that thing for the winter time, you know, versus those uh, plastic windows, uh, if I can make something out of Lexon, if I just start to figure out how to work with it, so, uh, yeah, I was flying the flag, and, uh, you know, a lot of well, not a lot of people, freaking, freaking most people around here understand what it is, but, uh, you know, there's hateful Marxist morons out there that uh, don't, so that was, the, that was the issue, that was actually a 22, probably hit that right there. Um, the, um, actually, I can just go over real quick, if you look at the Corwin Amendment, which is the original 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, it was, uh, I think it was presented by uh, Senator Stewart from New York, New York. And uh, it would have made slavery permanently, uh, you know, constitutionally protected in the South. You're figuring that was the reason the South really seceded. The South was giving them a fake reason. It, you know, slavery wasn't, um, you know, under any kind of real constitutional attack at all because they had the Slave Fugitive Act of 1850 and they also had the Dred Scott decision by the Supreme Court in 1857, just a few years before, you know, the South seceded. So the thing is, um, if you look at uh, two thirds of the House of Representatives actually ratified the link, Abe Lincoln was all for it. He said he'd be fine with it. Um, and these were two thirds of the House of Representatives after the seven states, the original seven states, seceded. So they, um, they ratified it. Like New York ratified it, Ohio ratified it, the home state of Illinois, where Lincoln came from, he ratified it. And uh, Senator Stewart from New York, who ratified, you know, was put put it for, well, he was one of the ones that put. It actually was Corwin from Ohio, but uh, you know, Senator Stewart was also back in the big time out of New York. He later became the Secretary of State under the Lincoln administration. Too long of a topic to freaking talk about on this video because I'm really just talking about this window. I'm gonna make it. Four feet brings me up to this, and um, you know that. Um, if I can make a separate piece in here, probably use a, um, I don't know, some kind of adhesive or something like that to glue the two pieces together to like just make a joint. And you know, because it would be very difficult to make this little freaking last band. It would be pretty diff damn difficult to make the bend anyway. Not sure if you even have to screw it in there or something like that because I don't know if I can get the Lex on the perfectly formed like a piece of glass you know I might have to press it in there so we'll see how this works out and actually in the meantime I can actually get a clear piece of um, what do you call that like uh, tinting but not would, would bear virtually no tinting put it on the inside and the outside or especially on the inside to keep the window from falling apart so you know there's ways around this stuff but it should be a pretty cool how-to video for one and the other thing is if you look uh, getting back to the other subject if you look at the changes to the Confederate Constitution Mainly, it was about um, taxation. Taxation and where the spending was. Who had to be equal amongst the spending, had to be equal amongst the states. And also, uh, there was limits on how much infrastructure uh, could be spent, you, you know, where, where the infrastructure money could be spent on, which was one of the big issues because the North was grabbing the vast majority of the money and the South was paying the vast majority of taxes on the import-export tariff on the, on the cotton and other agricultural staples. So... They also uh, had ways to uh, impeach federal officials that are operating in states against the state wishes, which could be a number of different subjects. Um, there was basically a lot of limits on uh, appropriations. There was no, like, throwing everything. Like, uh, you know, a lot of times you hear appropriations bill. Well, I want this, and the other guy wants this. So let's all throw it in one bill, and let's spend the hell out of everything. <laughs> and we'll go, we all get what we want. That's why we're in debt to up to our eyeballs in the federal government today. The Southern Constitution limited uh, spending bills to one item, one subject on each bill. And it had to be clearly illustrated in the title and also described in the body of the, of the, the message of the... Um, 
appropriation bill, the text of the appropriation bill, where the spending was going to be on. It had to be one bill for each subject. And there was also a line item veto for the president, essentially. Um, so, you know, it, it would cut down a lot of spending. Basically, we're going to fall apart here in the United States because it's just, just, we're going... We're going broke, man. I don't know how the hell they're freaking paying for all these bonds and stuff. You know? But that's that's what the flag does represent. It does represent limited government. But, you know, the Marxist doc- indoctrination camps, otherwise known as public school system, uh, basically tells you otherwise. So, anyway. But, you know, there's people out there. They, they just got it in their head. They're just, I don't know what the hell it is, but who cares? Who cares? I mean, you can... Uh, be driving down the road with a blue car, and they'll, 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 they won't like your car because it's blue. That's how that's how people are. There's, there's going to be one thing or another. So um, I'm staying with what I'm about, but you know it, what I'm about is not what uh, the Marxist Dewey camps, uh, communists are saying what I'm about. So it stands for liberty of government, and uh, that's it. And we're gonna, you know, I was always worried about busting this freaking window anyway when I put stuff back here, uh, but you know this is actually from a 22 right there but uh you can see the hole i put a patch on her patch i put a gorilla tape on the inside right there i don't know if it's coming i showed it on the other video well you can see it right here the hole right there right there so um so they're shooting at that thing but the thing is uh you know um this was this window was something i was always worried about anyway because of uh, when i put stuff back here and you know you got to watch this thing. And if I put the if I get the Lexon polycarbonate in here, and make the bend up to here and put a separate piece in here, that's gonna be better, man. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be better. Oh man, and um, it'd be nice if you can actually make a slider back there too. But I don't know if I could do that. But who the hell knows? Oh, that'd be awesome if you can make a little slider. But I don't know, I don't know what, what my skills are up to. But we'll see. It's gonna take a lot of hours. And I have not seen anybody on YouTube make one of these windows typically uh if you look at the race car platforms like um they'll sell for like chevelles novas mustangs um camaros you know b you know b body uh, uh mopars and stuff they sell lexon windshields and they sell lexon windows rear windows side windows for race cars because you got body flex and sometimes you even have to have the roll cage go through the window in the back to mount to I don't know something in the way out they don't make one for this thing though so I'm gonna have to make some but they do make one they make a Lexon polycarbonate windshield for this thing but you see this this is easy it's just a piece of uh, straight glass once you got a curve in it you start getting it gets tougher to do so I gotta order a heat gun and um, to try to make some clamps so we can kind of bend it a little bit at a time. It's gonna take. It's gonna be a, a lot of labor, but you know I probably should be able to get it done, and it should be better than the original stock, and a hell of a lot stronger. So the Lexon just came in, and um, it's a quarter inch thick. It's got a little protectant on here. I didn't get. I don't know what the hell kind I got. General purpose. <laughs> it's only like sixty five bucks, man. Which is crazy. I can fix that window for that cheap and make it better. Well, it won't be that cheap because I'll get it easier than a heat gun, but um, looks like you see this? Uh, this is a Florida hot sun, so it's probably what the hell is it out here? Oh yeah, it's over 90 degrees. <laughs> so you got this thing sitting out in the sun. I, I bet you I can bend this probably without a heat gun, but we put the heat gun on a little bit. This ain't gonna be too bad. It doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna have to do this next week though. It looks got some kind of paper on here. Here it is. It's clear enough to me. It's not as clear as uh, acrylic, but uh, it can hit it with the buffing wheel and uh, wax it or something. Or, or you know what you do? You put furniture polish on it. Uh, it'd be clear enough to look out the back window. So. And uh, that'd be pretty strong stuff. I mean, it's not. Uh, um, well, you know what's on, you know what this is. You know what you do with this. This stuff is also used for uh, on the windshields on the motorcycles. Uh, I got one um, on this thing here. On this thing, if I got my the lights on, 
See that windshield? That's a polycarbonate uh, Lexon windshield with a coating. And um, if you get the acrylic, they shatter. Acrylic is more clear. That windshield is more clear than that Lexon, but you know, I don't know if the difference is is it the material itself or is it the polish? Uh, I got a professional polisher and bonnet, so but either way, I mean, you can see through that, you know. Could be just, you know, you know what it is? It's a little bit of, uh, it needs polishing. The one side isn't polished out as much as this. I could feel it. So polishing will probably make it very optical. It's uh, You can still see through it, but it's very strong. So this doesn't look too bad. So you can bend this and make a little bit of a set in there. Um, thing is I have to trace this out very carefully. Uh, put a, um, I saw one guy on YouTube cutting it and tracing it out, but I never see him anybody installing it. So I couldn't find one that was two feet by 60 inches, which would have covered the whole thing. But like I said, I'm probably going to make it into two pieces. And again, you know, I don't know if I, <laughs> this thing's got no air conditioning, but if you actually had a window, a center piece, that you could slide out or something like that, or make something with a, with a center piece. Man, I'll tell you what, that'd be all the air conditioning you need because it's only a two seater. If it just blows right out the back, I mean, as long as you're going three miles an hour, that's gonna be a major freaking difference. So, this might be something, I was almost thinking about doing this a while ago because I wanted to, I always wish they made a rear, I don't know if I'm gonna do that right now though, but that might be a modification I do in the future since I did this to make uh, a slider on this thing, a sliding window. But the thing is, if this happens either from me putting in lumber or something like that in the future in the back you know, of this thing, if I do this again, or even if this, this won't break very easily, but if it happens, it, you know, I'll know how to replace it. And again, um, I was thinking about making, I want to do this for like a winter time, not so much down here, but if you're up in Tennessee or something like that, making a Lexon window set up for this with like a slider that you can make make the bracket so it slides in there you, you, you know this whole thing just goes into here like this and you'd have a slider you know uh, you slide this one this way and that way with a track um, that would be for the winter time but this, these aren't bad either I mean this is 30 below zero coal crack plastic so it's not bad the other thing is too if something happens to one of these windows Lexon is the way to go actually if this windshield ever had to have problem you know got a rock on or something like that that would be Lexon Lexon so but if it's the state of Florida if you get a windshield crack no problem insurance pays for it I mean, whether you have no matter what you know that so it's other windows they don't pay for but uh, Lexon is the way to go because uh, they use it in the race cars because all the body flex, uh, even if you got a roll cage in there and stuff like that, you, the body you know, takes off really hard. That's why they sell Lexon windows for like most of the uh, cars that you'll see out on the racing circuit. You know, it could be old GTOs or Camaros and stuff like that. They don't make a back window. This back window, is, you can get it from uh, OSGI, original... I don't know what the hell it stands for. It's like original equipment. They're cheaper than uh, the El Camino place by 70 bucks, but still it's a $340 window. I mean, I could replace that, but then I, I just don't like the glass. I'd rather use this. I was thinking about doing this a while ago anyway, but there was nothing wrong with the glass until that freaking hate Marxist broke in. <laughs> <laughs> freaking yo yo. <laughs> so, anyway, see, he was aiming for the sheriff's badge. That's what he's really aiming. He probably wasn't aiming for this. He's probably trying to shoot the sheriff's badge. Because I have one back here, too. See? Right there. Right next to my Sons of Confederate Veterans. See? You don't like that. And my uh, cooter for president. So we're going to be doing... Uh, yeah, here's uh, a little cat. Is that how you get up there? Is that how you get up there, little boo-boo? Huh? I don't know which one this is. Feather or Monix, man. You look at the ear. It's, uh, it's Feather. Yeah, the ear, but also the face. So, we're going to do this thing here in uh, Curtis Garage and uh, get it done. And by the way, there's a place up around here not that far away. It's called Dixie Motorworks. I'm going to see if I can put up a Confederate flag for those guys, too, you know. 
the sheriff will watch out for it. The sheriff of God, this for going. I can't see it. Roscoe P. Coltrane. Right. Anyway, so Cooter will get it done. 